Welcome back to The Pulse, I'm Marcel. The other day, a couple days ago, I posted a video about getting sick taking NMN for the first time, wanted to be transparent about that, shared my story, was already feeling about 90% when I made that video, and I've steadily improved the past couple days. So it's only been 48 hours since I shot that video, and I really feel 100% now. So as just as a latest update to how I'm doing as far as that goes. Now, today I'm going to respond to a lot of people who comment uh, they're commenting in response to reasons they think I'm taking NMN. And I think they've either not watched enough of my videos or they're just missing the point altogether. Maybe because of my thumbnail, even the thumbnail in this video, uh, thumbnails are for visuals purposes. Uh, visual purposes are cool because they express on the outside, oftentimes what's going on on the inside. But that's not the picture and that's not the target for me. That's not the reason I'm doing it. Uh, what a lot of people think or say or respond to is they say things like you're trying to live longer. Well, living longer is a byproduct uh, from living healthier. The target for me is to live healthier and I believe therefore I will live longer, but not outside the confines of the scientific reality of how long human life expectancy really is right now. I understand that. I'm not trying to deny or defy the rules of, of science, but I am trying to live healthier. And I do believe that those of us living healthier are going to then live longer because of it. Less disease, well, of course, you have a better chance to live longer. But for me, the target isn't living longer or living forever or anything like that. I'm trying to maximize the time I had because things had gotten rough for me and I was losing myself and losing my quality of life. And I wanted to get that back, and I have, and in a big way. Uh, the other thing people respond to is, you don't look any younger. Well, I never said I looked younger. I happen to think I look more like I did when I was younger. I look more like myself. Granted, an older version of myself, but I had lost myself through, through the puffiness around my eyes, the dark circles, um, uh, the excessive wrinkles that I had, and uh, really being overweight and just out of shape. Yes, I, I no longer looked like who I remember myself being. But the target isn't to look younger. And really, people uh, can get pretty nasty with some of their comments along those lines. They literally will, will call me names or call me stupid. And those are the combative posts that I mentioned in a recent video that I said we really can't allow those to go on, although I haven't had to remove any posts since then. So people have been pretty well behaved. But there are a lot of people that get very combative about this and tell me how bad I look. <laughs> and I got to tell you, I got to be honest with you, First of all, I don't think I look worse. I, th I think I look better, but that's not the target. The target is to feel better. I'll talk more about the reasons I'm taking uh, NMN in a minute, but I'm responding first to those false perceptions about why I'm taking it. No, it's not to look younger. Uh, no, it's not to live longer. Those are byproducts from living healthier and living better and being more active. And those are more along the lines of the target that I'm shooting for. Uh, another thing that people respond to is reverse aging. Again, you're not actually any younger. Uh, technically, there are epigenic tests. Steve Hortbath is famous for uh, coming up with this clock that we can measure someone's epigenic age or epigenic age. And yes, that is interesting stuff. But oftentimes, you can take two or three different tests and get two three different drastic results. So I don't put a lot of stock yet in those blood age tests. So I haven't done them. I've just avoided them because for me, it's not the target. I'm not looking for a number. I'm not looking to get up here and say, hey guys, I'm 35. You know, It's more important for me to move and act and live like I'm 35 because I'll be 58 in, in three months. And um, and I have two young boys that I want to keep up with on the tennis court. And that was and is the goal for me to be active, to live a youthful life, not to actually technically, scientifically reverse my age. I'm not obsessed with that. Uh, so people commenting about that, whether that is possible or not, you're really missing the mark. You're responding to an argument that I'm not even making. Um, I will point out research 
that shows people have, because it's interesting, you know, and it is sort of supportive of the anecdotal evidence that myself and many of my viewers, around 80% of those taking NMN have experienced benefits. We're having these anecdotal benefits, and these are really, to me, actually more important because this is impacting people's lives than a theoretical science experiment. So for me, it's not about technically reversing my age. Um, it's also not about mating. Uh, I, I know that some people in their comments have said, you know, uh, speaking to saying you were more attractive before than you are now. I'm not trying to attract anybody other than to look respectable for myself and my family. I have a wife who's 10 years younger. I have two young boys. I'm full up in that department. I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much. I'm trying to keep up with them. <laughs> I'm not trying to replace them. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm very happy with my life and I'm not doing it to be more attractive to anybody else. It is just, again, a byproduct. If I, if I do look better, my family happens to think and feel that I do look much better than I did. And they're very proud of me, by the way, which matters a whole lot more than the comments. Again, today, I'm just responding to these false perceptions because I think you're missing the target and I think it's going to impact what you guys actually get out of NMN. And let me tell you why I do take NMN. The first reason, the biggest reason has been exercise and what I call kinetic exercise specifically, um, meaning I go out and I'm active and that leads to more activity and more activity. And the next day I'm able to recover to the point where I can do more activity and more activity. So Typically, a day for me, the target is to play tennis, either with my sons or with some opponents at our club or other clubs. However, I start off by stretching, then I'll go for a walk, then I'll go for a jog, then I'll do push-ups, then I'll rest a bit and go to the tennis court and play. This is an approach where one thing leads to another leads to another, not exhaustion, but more energy. And I think a lot of people miss the fact that NMN provides you that energy if you're using it. It's like it lights the candle or the lantern, but you provide the fuel for that to keep going. And you can burn a lot longer on that lantern than you can without NMN. At least that's been my experience. So whereas before, if I exercise more and then some more, the next day I was sore. But now I can do more plus more to, and it equals more. I can do more the next day and more the next day and more the next day. So I can actually stair step my way up to better fitness, better activity. So I take NMN to feed that because it helps me with the more plus more equals more. I can keep doing more. I can build those steps of kinetic exercise one to the other to the other. The other thing, and this has been ongoing, this has been something I've challenged myself because I notice as we age, our fine motor control, you all know what fine motor skills are, right? Your hand-to-eye coordination dealing with small objects. This requires a high level of fine motor skill. We measure this in children to see their intelligence development. And in, as we age, we lose the control. You know, we, we may start to shake, we don't walk as straight or as smooth. On the tennis court, it's very apparent where older players don't hit as hard because the ball will go out of control. Either they don't possess the strength they used to possess or they don't have that fine motor control to be able to go out there and hit a ball there or there or there. So what they do is they usually slice a bit more, they'll cut at the ball, and this gives them a margin for error where they're going to hit a good ball without needing the power. And it might bounce there, it might bounce there, it might bounce there, but it's probably going to be in. They're hitting a bigger target and they're cutting the ball differently so that it's got spin that makes up for the, their lack of perfect fine motor control. What I've been trying to do is see if I could improve my fine motor control. And I have to say that this has been elusive, but it's a reason I continue to take NMN because I believed it was out there somewhere. I would go out there and play and have more strength and have more stamina, but I didn't have better control. It took time. It took experimenting with different tennis rackets, finding the right racket that I could swing uh, more easily and, and put the ball right there or put the ball right there. I was 
was so frustrated at times because I'd see a man standing there, ball would come and I'd try to hit it the other side and I lacked that fine motor control to put the ball there. And over time lately, and this took about a year of an NMN because really the fine motor control just started to kick in over the past couple weeks, two, three weeks, maybe a month. And now I'm finding myself hitting these balls where I want, and this builds confidence. So now when the ball comes, I can put it where I want to. This has been an experiment. There's been something I've been working at. I've hoped and believed that NMN could lead me to that fine motor control. Uh, my wife's a speech therapist. These are things that she works with with her patients. We've talked about this quite a bit, this topic. And I've told her this has frankly been kind of this disappointment. You know, maybe not an NMN fail, but the thing that I hadn't quite gotten yet from it, yeah, I'm in better shape. Yes, I'm running faster, but it hadn't led to this ability to put things where I want them in a much more accuracy, resolution. This was missing in my tennis and probably in any other sport, probably in golf if I was out there golfing. Um, I wouldn't have that control, that, that fine motor control, that real-time sort of adjustment uh, the resolution of the of the movement in between those steps in between they were too large they were too there was too much that could go wrong i wasn't making that that smooth sort of change and that has suddenly began to appear but again that's a reason i've been taking nmn to try to see if i could improve that fine motor control and it's been pretty cool another interesting thing i've seen in the comments from time to time is some people started taking NR six or seven years ago, switched to NMN three years ago. That's kind of beside the point. The fact is they've been boosting their NAD levels for many years, and they've seen gradual improvements to their physical abilities, to their eyesight, um, to their health. They haven't been sick the entire time. Uh, there are interesting things that happen the longer you take it. It's another reason I'm taking NMN for the long term. It's not just about feeling better for a week or two. Some people take NMN and they don't feel better and they stop. But you're missing the real point. This is a 10, 20 year plan. This is something that you want to improve your life over time. This isn't about immediate results right now, only now. You have to start thinking about the midterm, the long term. What are you building towards? And living healthier, just a wellness approach in general, is also part of that. It's not about today's meal. It's not about how you're going to feel tomorrow. It shouldn't be all about that. Yeah, that's a that's a beginning. It's a start. But you're building building blocks. I've had one amazing year. I've had a year that it doesn't compare to anything for the past 30 years for me. Actually getting better, actually improving, getting faster, feeling better. That has been amazing. Notwithstanding those two and a half days of being sick last week, it's been an incredible year for me. But the longer term aspect of it is that I know I'm, I can build on this. I can have two good years, three good years, five good years, 10 good years. How many? I don't know. But the goal, part of that experiment beyond just the fine motor control is how long can I ride this? How many years can I put together? The other reason I take it is something that can sometimes have some downsides, but it's that invincibility, that what I call youthful exuberance that comes back. And that is a great feeling. Now, it can come with some pitfalls, some dangers. In January, I went outside, I felt that burst of energy and I went to, went to go sprint and hurt my lower back. And then I spent six weeks kind of rehabbing that. And over the past month or two, it's finally 100% again. I'm feeling great. So I've got that youthful exuberance, but some wisdom to go along with it. Now I do better warm-ups. I do better stretching. I don't just go out and start running sprints. That is a recipe for disaster, as I've found out myself. So but that youthful exuberance is really exciting. Uh, yeah, maybe it gave me uh, some false hope that I wouldn't catch COVID or Corona, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I know some people want to say, oh, it's COVID-19. It, it, it's not Corona because there are so many different coronaviruses. No, I understand that. But I'm not talking about a 10-year-old coronavirus. I'm talking about the one going around right now when I say that. Um, so yeah, I know that was a, that was a, 
a bump in the road, but I felt like I wasn't going to get it. And that to me, and I feel again today, like I'm not going to get sick tomorrow. It's back. You know, that, that invincibility, I feel uh, almost indestructible. And that's something you feel only when you're younger to have that back at now 57, almost 58 is really exciting. It's another reason I take NMN. It's one of the primary reasons I take it. I have a lot of self-confidence. I have a lot of fearlessness and I go out and tackle the day. I wish the same for you guys. Keep up with this post. If you're interested in NMN, I take it from Do Not Age. The link is in the description along with the discount code. Thanks for watching.